Hi, I'm Grace Atwood and welcome to my Brooklyn apartment. I am the founder of a lifestyle site called thestripe.com as well as the co-host of a podcast called Bad on Paper. So today I'm going to show you how I turned my empty Brooklyn apartment into a dreamy, colorful, and bold home. I work from home so my biggest goal was to design a space that's really inspiring and leaves me energized and excited to wake up every morning and hit the ground running. I love color and I'm definitely not afraid to use it. When I moved in, the space had gray painted plywood floors. I've painted every other square green. A ton of work, but so worth it. I'm really happy that I did this little DIY to make my apartment feel more me. Entertaining is really, really important to me. It's really nice to have everyone gathered around the table. I immediately gravitated towards this table as I loved the brass wishbone legs at the bottom. It just makes it feel really special and unique. Right off of the dining room is a sideboard that houses all of my favorite accoutrements. You'll also see some skulls. I think it's because I'm naturally a pretty cheerful person, so the skulls add a little bit of edge. The living area is designed for maximum media consumption. One thing I did that was really important to me was face both couches facing towards the TV so that everyone can lay down the long way. And when I'm finished watching TV and I just want to get away from it all, I head to the bedroom. Living in New York can be so stressful. So when I designed my bedroom, I really wanted it to feel like a calming oasis. So I kept it very, very neutral, very, very calming. It's my little place where I hole up from the world. My bedroom is definitely very much influenced by my sister. She designed the wallpaper for me, she did my bedding for me, and she also designed the fabric on the chaise lounge. That had been my family for years, and it was falling apart, so my sister actually had it covered in her fabric making it all the more special. My podcast is about books, my website has a book club feature, and I have books everywhere, and they're kind of a part of my interior design. I hope that you found my space to be as inspiring as I do. I think it is so important to make a space your own and create something that you want to come home to every day. And I will see you on my blog. Thanks for watching. Like what you see on the show? Well, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We have so many more beautiful homes to share. It's all about love. Share these homes, you know?